is my earnest hope, and indeed the hope of all mankind, that from this solemn occasion, a better world shall emerge out of the blood and carnage of the past. I now invite the representatives of the Emperor of Japan and the Japanese government and the Japanese Imperial General Headquarters to sign the instrument of surrender at the places indicated. <laughs> end of the war, the beginning of another peace. Peace, if we can solve the problem of 70 million Japanese people. Here's where we clinch our victory or we muff it. Here's our job in Japan. What does a conquering army do with 70 million people? What does a conquering army do with the family of the Japanese soldier? Fathers, brothers, mothers, cousins of the soldier. What do we do with the soldiers themselves, back now in civilian clothes as part of the Japanese family? What to do with these people? People trained to play follow the leader. People trained to follow blindly wherever their leaders led them. People who were led into waging a war so disgusting, so revolting, so obscene, that it turned the stomach of the entire civilized world. What do we do with the Japanese people when the military leaders they followed are gone? They can still make trouble. Or they can make sense. We have decided to make sure they make sense. And that job starts here. Our problems in the brain inside of the Japanese head. There are 70 million of these in Japan. Physically no different than any other brains in the world. Actually all made of exactly the same stuff as ours. These brains, like our brains, can do good things or bad things, all depending on the kind of ideas that are put inside. This kid starts life with the same brain as any other kid. None of them was ever born with a dangerous idea. No child ever said as his very first words, me, I can lick the whole cockeyed world. Ideas are taught to a child as he grows older. Teach him the good things and he learns the good things. When he's taught playful ideas, his brain understands them. Practical ideas, his brain knows how to use them. Artistic ideas, his brain can enjoy them. When he's taught geometry, geography, or geology, he learns them. He can understand chemistry, architecture, engineering, law. Any sensible idea, any modern idea, the Japanese brain, like our brain, can learn when it is taught. And it was beginning to learn these things in an old, backward, superstitious country. While living in this setting, while living in a backward world, while still being taught the old-time stuff, the Japanese brain was starting to learn the new. And it might have made sense, except for one thing. This group had plans, plans for themselves and plans for the Japanese brain. With such a brain, with its mixture of ancient and modern, some very interesting things could be done. A brain that thought in the modern way could be taught to use the latest modern weapons. A brain that also thought in the ancient way could be hopped up to fight with fanatical fury. <laughs> If these men could hop it up, then the sky would be the limit to the things that they could do. They'd gain power, glory, and a great new worldwide empire that they could control as their own if 
They were smart enough to do tricks with a Japanese brain. They were smart enough. They did it in a very roundabout way, through religion. Shinto, just one of several Japanese religions, an old religion, out of date, harmless. It had once been the official religion of Japan, but now a tired religion just lingering along with its dim, hazy, almost forgotten gods. A perfect setup for the warlords to move in on. This was the place they would use to hop up the Japanese brain. This religion would become the mouthpiece for the military gang. They made Shinto the official religion again. They took Shinto over. They made it a place where the people had to listen. They filled up the Shinto religion with hokum and used it to sell the Japanese people war. Sell the people ancient nightmares. Sell the people ancient hatred play up the bloody fairy tales and pagan superstitions. Up from Japan's murky past, bring back the mumbo jumbo. the emotions of the modern Japanese. That was the warlord's business. Muddle the modern Japanese mind. Hammer the ancient stuff in. Up from the barbarous bygone ages, bring back the ancient Japanese gods of war. Tell them of the glory of the samurai knights of old. Tell them that the soldiers of yesterday are the Japanese gods of today. Tell them that a Japanese warrior never dies play up the myth of the goddess of the sun and over and over and over again keep on telling them and telling them and telling them just this the sun goddess created the Japanese to rule all the other people of the earth